Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and I'm back at the mountain because I need to pick up... What do I need to pick up? I need to pick up something. I came here for a reason, and I... No. Or... Oh. Uh, <laughs> while we were gone, over the weekend, I brought in this little piggy and the other fantastic Mr. Fox. So that way I can get working on a sweetberry farm and uh, I need to get maybe one or two more foxen. And the nice thing is, is if there is a passive mob like a pig within visual field, they will work through the day instead of sleepy sleepy. So as long as you keep the lighting up and a passive mob like a pig or a cow, um, these guys will stay active and I'll probably hook that up to, um, just a couple of chests cause we don't need that much, that many sweet berries, but, uh, the rest can definitely go into bone meal cause, uh, we're always, we're all, we could always use more for the life of me. I don't remember what it was I came here for. I needed, cause what I need to do, or maybe, maybe that was it. Oh, it's already here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let, let, let's head over to the mob farm and uh, I'll show you two problems. What, one of which I desperately need to fix like tonight before the stream is done. The other one can kind of wait a little bit. Oh, it's so nice to have a reliable source of rockets though. Except for one small thing. Oh, we don't have a good AFK spot. I, I need to work on that. I'd started just with the platform over my head, so uh, phantoms didn't spawn over me, but then I realized the, the flaw in that design is, um, well, if somebody else comes by and brings their phantoms, those phantoms will fly through the wall and attack me. Uh, so I constructed something random with whatever was in my pocket, and uh, it looks ugly and horrible and needs to be fixed. Uh, accidentally leaving myself AFK, I found out that my fears were correct and the, the filters, um, broke because they, they were not designed for the, the level of overflow that we got. So there's stuff scattered all over the place here. Um, this shorter signal strength only works when they're not tiled next to each other. So I need to figure out a way to get this redstone dust three blocks out and still manage to route... Pa uh, sorry. Uh, I'm still having fun with uh, injured fingers. And still figure out how to properly depower these guys in the meantime. So uh, that is going <laughs> uh, live redstone uh, with the occasional muting of various words, possibly. We'll see. <laughs> Hi. As long as Ray S isn't here, we don't have to turn this into Jerry Springer. So <laughs> uh, she's not that bad when uh, <laughs> when uh, yeah. When uh, when uh, when uh, <laughs> when, when she's working on redstone. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Not 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 that bad. Mm. Although I will say that I <laughs> I meant I meant, I fully intended to log back in on uh on on Monday and start working on this and obviously I didn't. Um <laughs> We we've and that that's that's I I left myself logged in Sunday night and then logged out this morning and, and we've got oh we got so much stuff that's a good feeling i'm definitely gonna have to sort some <laughs> sort it all out though i might need to grab like a, a couple of spare boxes do i have spare boxes in there i do have spare boxes in there a and just kind of dump stuff off to the side until i can get things worked out hello beach duck um uh, you, you like my note <laughs> it so, uh, oh, and Medic said he had something to show off to include a new and improved iron farm. AFK just a step. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
And, uh... Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh... I, I knew Reyes put a, a, a protective wall around here, so, you know, it wasn't quite so precarious. Uh, okay, so that's gold and not just helmets? Then what are these? Or are these for all the bows? I mean... in here. <laughs> there we go. All mended. <laughs> uh, Reyes has been busy on the castle. We've all been assigned various rooms to decorate. Well, we were given options. I am supposed to build a dining hall in this room here. And the way Reyes set it up is uh, the floor is going to be level with this block. So here is where the actual floor is going to be. And the wall is going to be up along these bricks there. She provided a middle. So where B-dubs would normally go, like make your walls too, too thick. Uh, she decided to go three blocks thick. So we've got this to know where the wall is going to be, and then the kitchen interior is going to be here. The dining room interior is going to be here. And uh, this is one of those things that I'm definitely going to have to spend a little bit of time thinking out and planning. Right now, my thought is some sort of fancy pixel art diorama thing maybe maybe like a giant shield or crest uh and then a patterned field around it or maybe i'll just start working on another bizarre pattern like i did over over at the mountain base oh hi guys these guys i i mm, i have mm, i have words about these guys uh <laughs> we we ended up dealing with a with a very unintentional raid not too far back because I burnt I, I, I lit a fire on the ground and burnt the uh, that guy to death and just after I shot the arrow at his compatriot his compatriot picked up the banner thus giving the um, the the effect nobody wants. Well, I mean. Uh, nobody wants in their village. Their actual village. Their actual village. With the actual villagers that you're trying to create good trade relationships with. How about that? Is that, that about cover it, cover it precisely enough? Yeah, that works. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we had us uh, an unintentional raid and it went mostly okay. I'm still not 100% sure these are my pants. You guys, come on. Come on, shoot at me. Shoot at me. No, no, no. You shouldn't shoot me. Get there, just keep shooting me. Wait, what? I had a shield up. How was that? If they have piercing, it'll go through it. Oh, you kidding me. Nope. He's the one. Maybe. Run away. Alright, I got the banner so they can't, you know, do that to us. You appear to have taken an arrow into the knee. Yeah. What were you asking? I was saying that, uh, that that's a new one. I'm, I'm glad I learned that now and not in a more horrible situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I found that one out the hard way, too. Uh, if they have piercing on their crossbow, they can absolutely uh, mess you up. 
That's uh, no, that, that's definitely not. That, that ain't what you want. All right. While we're, well, oh, while I'm here. Uh, typically, I would just bounce around in circles and let them shoot their own commander. Yeah, I I tried that too from time to time, and sometimes it works. X Medic Frog built this beautiful Iron Farm Village Breeder from an Impulse SV video. This these guys are protected from the dubious lightning fate of uh, the previous farm. And holy mother of villagers, Batman! <laughs> I guess we're ready to uh, to start this village up when it comes time, huh? <laughs> Although, oh, because this is technically in the savanna. So most of those guys are the, the savanna villagers. Huh. But, uh, oh yeah, look at that iron and unintentional side effect. We also get some carrots, which will be very nice. At some point, I'm going to go build the... Uh, oh, I can't fly with torches in my hand. <laughs> torches don't get you very far. They may be illuminating, but they don't cover the distance. Uh, so, yes, our iron woes are over. And uh, one, once I get a gold farm going, we can, uh, we can get some golden carrots without having a trade with the villagers, although honestly, I'm okay with trading with the villagers. This thing has been nice. I need to I need to finally get rid of the bottom, I think, maybe? Or create a protected dock, because uh, it occurs to me that uh, if your elytra is not working, or you have no rockets, hence why you need to get up there, um, we might want a way of climbing up that doesn't rely on flight. So, that that might have to be a very, very near-term thing that gets worked upon. Um, oh. Well, for the time being, I've transported almost an entire double uh, chest of rockets over to the oh, castle store. Oh, nice. We shouldn't be depleting rockets too quickly over here. Uh, you say hey, that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I meant to grab orange dye. That, that's <laughs> that's what. <laughs> Wait, I've only got the one. Ah, uh, I get. I get. Look, I just need to get an orange sheep or something. I'm telling you, we need just a single sheep somewhere <laughs> is in a hole, providing us with the uh, wool or something. You can't plant orange dye. I mean, you can try. I mean, yeah. Well, you can try anything, but that doesn't mean it's going to work. All right, let's, uh, let's try to collect our thoughts. Okay, all thoughts collected. Did you notice how quick that was? All right, let's get us some yellow and red dye so we can get some orange. Uh, oh, Pixelrus was talking about... Uh, <laughs> One one of the parody issues that I kind of I didn't realize was a thing. Apparently, on Bedrock you can bone meal sugar cane. I know that on Java you cannot. And so the question is, do which which way do you go? Do you do you? If you're trying, if the goal, if the end goal is to achieve parity between the two versions, which, you know, that, that seems very much like one of those things where you're going to make somebody mad no matter which choice you make. So which, which way do you go? Um, do, do you say, um, that, that since you can bone meal other, other since you can bone meal bamboo and uh, kelp and other plants to make them grow faster, 
you should therefore be able to bamboo sugar cane? Or do you go with, because of the nature of sugar cane and where it is, it should be like cacti, where you can't bone meal it? Well, you want me to weigh in on that real quick? Absolutely. Weigh in on it. All right. So when it comes to the difference between bedrock and java mm -hmm. and bone mealing sugar cane, yep. I say that concrete needs steps and, <laughs> and slabs of stuff. <laughs> why, 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 thank you for that insight. I help out when I can. So remember would agree with that. I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna say that you're wrong, because you're not you're not wrong. Um <laughs> Ooh, fine, I'll just put you in there for now. Uh <laughs> that 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 doesn't exactly answer the question though. Hey, before you head back out there to the uh, the mm -hmm. farm, come over to the iron farm, please. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm stuck on my face. That's okay. Um, I had some fasting blood work this morning, and I made the mistake of stopping by Dunkin' Donuts for my breakfast after fasting blood work. Hmm. Uh, somebody may have bought the entire shop a dozen and a half donuts. Mm. And the last few, um, the last, you know, three is a few, or a few is three. Uh, the, la the last few, it would have been a shame to let them go to waste. So, uh, somebody might have been reminded that trying to eat donuts while driving a sh uh, stick shift in afternoon traffic was not the smartest idea. But it was a delicious idea. But it was a very delicious idea. I, I'm kind of surprised that? that that I don't have to worry about combing Jimmy's out of my mustache. How you do? How you do? <laughs> so, um, as you can see, I've, I've been passed down to bring villagers in, uh -huh. and this is our new training center. So, okay. Uh, this is the, the Reyes Training Center, and it's still a work. All of those are filled with villagers. Okay. It's still a work in progress, but so as the, you can see, I've already. Hmm? Uh, so the, this is going to be to figure out what they're what they're worth and whether they're uh, keepers. Yep. Ooh, that's and an unbreaking three sword right out the bat. Yes. All of these guys are keepers so far, except okay. for maybe the armor smith guy. But as you can see, the three librarians, so you can go ahead and check them out. Now, what I plan on doing, this, like I said, this is a work in progress. I'm going to be setting it up to where we can um, let them meet zombies. Oh, then, yeah. Uh, just, just keep in mind that the only problem with that, the only person who gets the discount is the person who cured them. Oh. So if you cure them, I don't get the discount. But if you, if I cure them, and then you turn around, and they accidentally meet the zombie again, and then you cure them, you get the same discount I get, right? That I don't know. That's a good question. Because the way it's going to be set up, buy a few and put them in community storage. Because the uh, the the way well, it's going to that, be set that's up, that's always an option too. You're, you're just going to hit like a little switch, <laughs> and then they're going to disappear for a minute. And then they're going to come back all greeny. And then you're going to walk over here and you're going to grab a golden apple and a splash potion. And then you're going to splash them. And then you're going to give them a golden apple. And then you're going to go do other things. And whenever you come back, if it's still not the way you like it, you hit the little switch again. And then they'll come back green. And then you do the same process over until you get down to one. It's going to be great. I hear it's not easy being green. No, it's not. Well, you're the frog. You should be singing that anyway. Yeah, it's not. But, uh, so... I, I'm sorry. Mind parts. I was about to say kids ask your parents, but I, I, I think that reference is old enough that I should have... I might end up having to say kids ask your grandparents. 
Yeah. All, all of them all of them are in minecarts. That so. yeah was not helpful, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> when it when it comes time to move them, like for instance, you know, this guy goes to to the the, the Reyes Library. Yeah. Then all we gotta do is just pop Hook the up a rail, rail down, find them, and away he goes. Yep. And then we just put the uh, rail going back in there and go up and grab the next guy. Nice. Yeah, I noticed that we've got a sizable batch of villagers all uh, sitting in the queue just waiting. Yeah, and I still have to fix it to where. So, so you can see, this is all temporary. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to fix it to where they drop down into a a one cube thing uh, to help decrease population size. <laughs> um, to deal with the surplus population. Yep, and then I also will set this up with an actual pretty rail system, where all you have to do is press a button on the inside, and it'll bring you to them. Nice. So I will set that up, but it is a work in progress right now. I just wanted to get, I had to get efficiency five. <laughs> now we only have efficiency four. Uh, but look, since my silk touch pickaxe has no efficiency to speak of, uh, I will take whatever efficiency I can get. Like matter of fact, if you get a spare efficiency book floating around somewhere, uh, I don't think I have a spare one. However, I do have in this box. Cause I think all I got are like the, no, I got 24 emeralds. Is there a book nearby? Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Hang on. Look in this chest. Ah, nice. Books and emeralds. Good. Yep. Where? And are you efficient? You look no. You are efficient. <sighs> I didn't grab enough emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I, I hate where you're like, oh yeah, nice. Oh, oh, I I forgot some emeralds. This is the Arcadius chest over here. Okay. <laughs> I, I had to level some guys up, and so I just grabbed okay. Arcadius stuff. Cake and chainmail. Cake, chainmail, and shields. Okay. <laughs> now that's fair. I mean, look, hey, cake is actually useful as a redstone component, you know. <laughs> or stairs. <laughs> yep, so that, that that's his chest, but um, as I level stuff... Oh, and there's golden carrots in here, too. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you gorgeous villager. Golden carrots. Mm -hmm. But he only buys carrots and uh, melons. And did you figure out what the suspicious stew was? Nope. I'm going to buy one and leave it for Arcadius. <laughs> All right. I'm curious. Here we go. Our, our lone suspicious stew. Let me uh, get that so I can actually read what the effect is. I am blind. Yep. He makes you blind. Stay away um, from the hooch. It'll drive. It'll make you blind. The the first three guys, they don't need to go anywhere. They need to stay here because okay. these two buy iron, and he's going to buy the carrots that keep falling out of yeah the farm here. <laughs> hey, that's fine. And, and this guy, I, I like that he starts off with an unbreaking three sword, like out the go. Looks good to me. Which axe is that? Yeah. But yes, uh, as soon as I get the signs and stuff together and get this place, uh, I'm going to have it fully done up where I've got a, a uh, uh, b -b 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 light sensor on the outside. Oh, so all these level. lights come on during the day and they'll go off at night and I'm going to have them all in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to end up closing this part off so it's completely uh, closed off. So when Reyes is in here, all she has to do is look up and see if it's daylight or not. Yeah, but even if there's daylight, they still won't trade outside of working hours. Uh, you should no. probably you should probably make a couple of clocks because we got the texture pack that puts a little uh, emerald on the clock when they're willing to trade and when they're not. 
Remember, they keep bankers' hours. No, the, the the main the main reason for that was so she knows not to walk outside whenever she's done. Okay. Okay. No, now I'm tracking. I thought this was about whether or not they were willing to trade, so we don't hear over Discord. Look at your station. <laughs> No, I'll put that clock up here. Okay. But, uh, but no, it's it's uh, mainly just going to be so she knows whether or not it's, it's dark outside. And I am going to put a sign over the door that says something along the lines of the Reyes School for Villagers or something. <laughs> the Reyes School for Special Villagers. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, that was that was. It. I just want to show. I, okay. I've been no, on that the, that's the, awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to come back here with a bunch of stuff because I need to see Mr. Sharpness about a few books and Mr. Efficiency about a few books. Uh, and I'll have to look and see what else. Because I, I know I got a couple of I know I got a couple of items that I need to put that on. Um, we got an unbreaking dude around here, right? Yes. Okay, he's over, he's still over in the old villager breeder? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I gotta see him too, because my uh, shovels don't have unbreaking yet. Yeah, I've been working on the, uh, <clears throat> I'm digging out, I, I found out that for slime, um, the <clears throat> more blocks that are over the top of them, Mm-hmm the less they're going to spawn. Yeah, because there's more places that it's got to check for uh, whether or not there's a spawnable space. Yeah, so I'm going through and, and digging out that whole thing up uh -oh. as far as I can go. And uh, I was not doing it with a efficiency zero pickaxe. Oh, I, I thought you were going to use the uh, the TNT tunnel bore that Ray Est was working on and just, you know, uh, be prepared no. to turn it around a little bit. No, I didn't want to uh, destroy what I've already built, so. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just digging it out. Plus, she needs the um, the cobbled deep slate anyway, so. I need to get more shulker boxes, too. Yes. We'll, we'll have to plan a another uh, another day of running around the end. But I, I started, I, I dug up as far as I could, Ooh. and then I started digging down. <laughs> and that'll open it up enough to where at least we can get some decent stuff going. And then I'll start working from the top down yeah. and open this entire thing up and start putting layers in. Uh, fortuning in your diamond and gold. Yep. No, oh, no, I'll have her missile touch stuff. Oh! <laughs> wow. All right, let, let me go, uh, let me go beat my head against some redstone. Yep, and we'll... Uh, park myself in the corner here, finish eating, and <laughs> then keep working on this thing. I just want to show you that before we got too busy, and I forgot to show you that it was over there, and you didn't know that yeah. the stuff was there. And no, much yeah. appreciated. Oh, did Reyes get this working? I'm not going to touch anything. Sometimes. I have my moments. I mean, sometimes I, lo I look at stuff and I come away certain that I'm an idiot wrapped up in a moron, but I have moments. Oop. Like flying that close to bricks. That, that was not my smartest move. Stopping by Dunkin' Donuts after a fasting blood drop. Not my smartest move. Ah, it's fun. That was tasty, though. It was fun. The scale is going to have some things to say to me, but... <laughs> Damn.
<laughs> I'll tear all this down in a little bit. Uh, just go somewhere, piece of glass. All right. What do I need? I oh, <laughs> um, two two things before I get too far into this and forget again. Uh, we migrated the server over to Fabric with the Lithium mod and server performance has been amazing. I have also started using the Fabric client and I no longer have XSplit going, your CPU usage is pegged out. Would you like to close something? <laughs> like, no, I have nothing to close. Everything that's open are things that I need. Um, so the combination of those two has been phenomenal. And since I had uh, the Fabric client installed, I was able to put the client-side mod on that uh, shows you your shulker box inventory when you hover over it, which has been amazing. I, I, I don't know why I didn't do that sooner, uh, other than I really thought the Fabric client installation was going to be a pain in the butt, and uh, it's not. It really isn't. Um... Okay, no, I was right. I did have the... Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> focus. <laughs> Sorry. I said focus. <laughs> Look. Yeah, it, one of those days. <laughs> it, it is definitely... Man, all day at work has been like that. I just... I No, no focus, no retention, no nothing. I just... I don't know. I don't know. Just one of them days. All right, let's uh, widen out our platform here because I th I think uh, I I have an inkling of how I need to fix this, and I need to make sure that my redstone doesn't fall into there because even odds on it getting caught in a chest or burning in the lava, and I think I know what my odds are right now. And those odds are sad. Yeah, let's build this out a couple more. So I'm going to need to put an enclosure on this. And I think once the enclosure's done and Arcadius builds up the, the tower that surrounds this to make it look a little less, uh, <laughs> a little less of the wrong sort of a non-special. Um, three... Okay, sorry. Uh, I think at the very top, I would like to put... Um, I would like to put... Um, words. Now, a, a phantom trap like we did in Season 1. So we'd have a place to actually farm phantoms. And just like in Season 1, with it being over the mob farm... Um, you, we, we can get that, that way we can get, uh, mob drops. We can get, um, sugar cane because the sugar cane farm is going to be between the mob farm and the AFK platform. And we'd get, uh, we'd be able to get some, some phantom stuff. So, I think I might be okay if I do this. I'm a little worried about the extra delay that adds in. Because normally that comparator is one block more to the left in these sorts of setups. Uh, and you end up with three redstone dots out the side of each one.
but because of that ice, I can't exactly do that. Oh. That's unfortunate. I don't have to... How about down here? Nope. Alright. I hope that's all I needed to do. That's, uh... Okay. There's... There's that four. There's that four. There's that four. filter. Oh, is that stuck in the back? I bet that's stuck in the back. There's that one. And I'm looking for like the one stack of four. Okay, so one, two, four over. so difficult. Somewhere in here is... There we go. Alright, so there is my filter material. gets on or I know that she's listening mm -hmm. I do have a slight announcement to make okay but I do want to wait until she gets on so I don't have to repeat it okay well expect that to be soon the other way and try to clean it up the other way. <laughs> That's empty, 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 empty sugar cane. Empty, 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 empty. Uh, how is the sugar cane doing, by the way? Uh, it is doing... I suspect okay, but with the, with the filter broke, I really couldn't, I wouldn't want to swear to it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. And either, either way, I'm definitely going to be uh, expanding it out anyway. Because, of course I am. Well, now you know why I went with a 300 meter tall water cooler for <laughs> sugar cane. <laughs> Alright, that's gunpowder, so... The gunpowder can stay. Everything else can go. Get the bones and arrows and rotten flesh. Yeah, I, I got overflow on this ready to go. Uh, I'm still curious where the cooked chicken came from, though. Um, questions like that on the server. Uh, well, I suspect a, a zombie chicken drown spawned in there, because, of course, why, why wouldn't it? Alright, um... A 
a zombie chicken drowned? Well, yeah. Make it happen. All right, that's my filter material. Um, I, I've I've had problems with drowned spawning in the bubble column. That's part of why I did not end up switching this over to just a hopper column. Uh, that way the water flow pushes the drown into the uh, overflow protection. And then we don't have those guys piling up either. Yeah, but if they died, then that's copper. Possibly. Um... Not, not likely. They, they usually only drop copper when it's a player kill. Well, or, the differ. I saw a, uh, or it was my understanding anyway, that they only drop copper uh, on a player kill. There, there's tons of AFK farms where that's the main reason. Why uh, AFK does not necessarily mean no player interaction. Because remember, you, you can set up you can set up something like the the uh, Nether Wart farm that I did in season one that is technically AFK in that you get the you you get right click to automatically happen as you go and then you walk away. It is still by all rights AFK, but it is I, not. I understand. Hmm? I, I understand your uh, stipulation there. Um, I should have clarified. It's a drop kill. Okay. Oh my. Well, we should be all set on uh, gunpowder for at least one trip to the end. <laughs> I was going to say, I haven't made it over there yet, so. <laughs> I just try to. You know, I, I am starting to run low on rockets. All right, now let me just grab a stack of these, a stack of these, so I can at least get the filtering to work back again. Um. And then I'll st I'll get back to cleaning that out once I don't have stuff actively uh, <laughs> thwart hey. Ow. actively thwarting my ability to uh, to work on this. All right, so this needs to be set for zombie flesh. We've got what? Is not right. Or is it because some of these other hoppers are too full? That might actually be it. So let's do this. Let's stop new stuff from coming in. clear out all these hoppers. That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. That is very much the 13 feathers? Oh, oh, probably because some... Okay, no. That's what it is. The, the chicken jockeys spawning on the mob platform. And then dying in the fire, because that's what they're supposed to do. All right, and that needs to be the rotten flesh. This needs to be the arrows. Or 
or is that because the box underneath is already full? That is bones. And bones and bones and dry bones. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Too many. Gunpowder. And gunpowder. And then we got sugar cane. Sugar cane. More sugar cane, hopefully. And the last sugar cane. Now I should be able to remove that. seems to be working a little better. Oh, must not fall off the scaffolding. Stuff still making it around the corner now. Yeah, it should be. All right, that's down to the 41 and the rest. The 41. Look at your wrist. Yep. Stomping around in the background. Alright, now let's get back to trying to clear this out. One of the things that I am definitely a little eh, about is I did not include room for um, witch drops, just in case any witches spawned in the system. Oh, something's dropping into the lava. Let's try, let's just get rid of all the sugar cane first. And chicken. Between Skeleton Farm and that farm over there, we have uh, oh, yeah. bone meal to last us forever. <laughs> uh, we, we, we should have enough bone meal to last us at least a little bit. I said at least a little bit. I didn't say forever. I didn't even say for a long while. Wait until I start putting stuff together with uh, <laughs> that requires massive amounts of bone meal. That was in response to... On the other side of the house, somebody clip that. For those wondering. Alright, I mean, that's not a bad amount of sugar cane, but I really do need to get. I need to get the other modules going. I definitely need to get the other modules going. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen until um, until I get more slime blocks. Oh, and I, I hear the ah! bad guys. Yep, lots and lots of bad guys. Yep. 
Oh, of course uh, not. Do I have milk? I do not, but I can go grab some. Grab oh, that. you got those kind of guests. Mm -hmm. Back in there. Grab that. Let's put rockets in my hand because I got a move move. Alright, let's grab gunpowder. long gone they got scared well, that's a good thing isn't it yeah they were scared they got scared anybody uh anybody need arrows we, we, we appear to have a couple. Oh, at the moment. Between the two farms, I think we have too many of them. What, 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 what is this too many of what you speak? Their Clara candy. Actually, I have not done anything with clerics yet. Because I, I got I got plenty of zombie flesh for uh, for trading. I haven't done anything with clerics yet. Not sure if anybody else has. Not yet. If anybody's got a fisherman, that is. Special. Oh, that reminds me, uh -oh. Arcadius. I need uh, I need splash potions of uh, weakness. <laughs> Duggar. I need more sugar and some podzel. Podzel. Oh, for the mushrooms. Yeah, I can't grow giant mushrooms without it. We're short of uh, mushrooms. Uh, there's I some po there's some pods all over here by the farm where I was growing the spruce trees. If you got a silk touch shovel. I don't have a silk touch shovel, but I do have a silk touch pick, and all I need is a couple hey. of pieces. As long oh. as I break the bottom stem fast enough, I won't lose the podzel. Uh, podzel do, the podzel doesn't destroy like that. You're thinking mycelium. Oh. I thought everything, if something stood on it long enough, no. would break back down in dirt. Not everything. Some things, but not everything. Here, I got four pieces for you. I need to un unjunk my unsorted mess. Okay. <laughs> Go 
goes. Oop, no, that should be bones. Arrows, arrows, arrows. That should be gunpowder. That should be gunpowder. That should be gunpowder. That should also be gunpowder. I hope I counted right. Maybe I didn't. Zombie stuff. No, no. <laughs> supposed to be bones. saying something off in the distance. I heard no. oh no. Oh no? What no? I just read the message in the server. Which one? Our old iron guys turned to the dark side. Oh. I have tiny tacos. <laughs> Our villagers are dead, but I have tacos. No, sorry. Tiny tacos. Tiny tacos. Yep. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to help me un un unjunk unjunk the sorting system, I wouldn't say no to help. I have to tiny taco first. Okay. I have tiny tacos. Can anyone guess what one of my favorite foods is? Mashed potatoes. See what I Actually, did yes. Well, uh, yeah. But only with peas and gravy. But, but, but does, does anybody get the reference? No. no. Ash. Oh, uh, <laughs> I wasn't getting that part. I was like potatoes. <laughs> mash them, smash them, put them in a stew. Yeah, that's where I was going. I didn't get the mash. But yes, yes. Also, yes. What is making weird noises? Ew, no, I don't want to do that. What? My computer's being dumb. It loaded some mixed reality something or other. You, you don't want to mix up your reality? Nah, I've got enough of that in my real life.
Use of random gunpowder is still showing up in other places. How long am I going to be clearing gunpowder out of this thing because the sorting broke? The sorting hat broke? Uh, yeah. That, that's what so I'm trying to... Is Slytherin now? I, I, I fixed it. But now I have to put everything back where it belongs. Ah. I mean, I... For for maybe half a second, I was tempted to just, you know, let let it be until we picked everything clean to where it naturally ended up where it was supposed to be. But um, I'm pretty sure that's how you die in your sleep on the server. So. And then beach duck like arrived in your head, right? That too. <laughs> to answer your earlier question, though, not everyone ended up in Slither. Somehow I got put in a Ravenclaw. That's how we do this mess. Actually, aren't you a Hufflepuff when you take the test? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think you were a Hufflepuff. I think I'm a Hufflepuff. What, are you trying to say something right now? But you're off buff. That's all I heard. <laughs> Medic, have you ever taken the Harry Potter quiz? I did. What are you? Ravenclaw. That that tracks. I have never taken said test, so I couldn't. I couldn't. That's tell why you. I didn't ask you. Because I had no doubt that you had never taken such test. It's an internet quiz. I know how you feel about those. Yeah. They're a lovely place to collect information. If you just fill out my quiz, like, do you know what the most common social security numbers are? Take this easy test. You say that, but I legit know people who think the Prince of Egypt really needed help. Yeah. Yeah. About that. I think I remember which direction the end place was. The which place? South. That way? South. Thank you. No, not south. Which way is the sunset? Maybe it was south. <laughs> Which way does the sunset? Maybe <laughs> south? <laughs> yeah. Well, what? does the sunset the way in Minecraft the way it does IRL? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I just show up and make pretty. Look, I know Ranger is not one of the two classes you play on the regular. Or ever. Nope. Nope. Could you imagine me playing a ranger? Would it go as uh, well as your druid? No one... I, I think I played an excellent druid. Just nobody likes what an excellent druid is. <laughs> I would love to see her play an illiterate barbarian. I don't mm. ever see that. I was, I was, I you get it. it. Just because I don't think she can. No, I could, but the problem is if I play something that is not my usual wheelhouse, I play it to the opposite extreme so that there's no, like, it's easier for me to separate if I play it on kind of its fringe edges, like, i.e., that's why all of my druids come out as card carrying PETA members. Um, so, like, I could play a dumb barbarian, and, like, I would literally roll to see if I remembered which end of my weapon to pick up. Well, I'm just I mean, of it more of I've a, known people. There's books, and you can't do anything about it. Nah, because if I was playing a barbarian, I wouldn't care about books. I'd think they're dumb. Just little flimsy pieces of paper. They don't do nothing for nobody. My fist. My fist does something to somebody. I mean, I guess if it was a thick enough book made out of big enough material, I could hit someone with it. 
but only a couple of times. Wood's much better. That would be my barbarian. I still think we should do an entire group of bards. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Hey. I'll go for that. Please don't. Why? It's too much fun. I... Because you guys wouldn't play, like, similarly minded bards. Well, no. It well, no. Where's the like fun in that? Four... It wouldn't be, like, four Scanlan short halls. It would be, like... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like Scanlan and the nerdiest of all epic nerds and like someone who would probably tank their wisdom score because they'd say it's unimportant or would play like they would tank would their wisdom score. <laughs> And and it would be like watching chickens run in the wind with no fence. Chickens run in the wind? With yes. No with no fence. Yep. Well, you're not even all chickens. It's like a chicken. That's like the name of my grunge cover band. <laughs> Chickens in the wind. <laughs> It'd be like a is, is is that is that sung to the tune of turtle. Dust in the Wind? Like Yes. Yes it is. Okay. Just checking. But it'd be like a chicken, a rabbit, and a turtle walk in the bar and they don't talk to each other. And that'd be it. There is no pun at the end of it. It's not a joke that anyone wants to listen to. Oh, no. No, if we were all bards, I'm pretty sure there would be puns aplenty. Oh, that also. Also. What? What's wrong with puns? You're very punny. Nothing's wrong with puns. Medic, where are my peoples? Which peoples? You said you made a people place. It's over by the purple go people the, eater. Go to the iron farm. Oh, you left two people there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't touch what you already had going on. <laughs> Except my dude in the middle went away. Yeah, because I Malcolm did, in the middle. Uh, I did uh, teach him. Oh, what did he learn? Did he get efficiency? Nope. Oh. All I want is efficiency. Okay, so there's our overabundance of arrows. There's I our can't do the rest of, of the push. decorations without efficiency. Uh, is it the little metal shelter, or is it the upstairs thing? Uh, you know what? Oh, give me a minute. Let me come up there. Okay, let me see. Oh, hello, peoples! Do you guys know things yet? <laughs> oh, you have many <laughs> trades. You know things. Do you know things? You know things. Right, How about a... you? <gasps> a weaponsmith! I think you found him. <laughs> what gave it away? Oh, you have a diamond axe with efficiency. I need emeralds. Sharpness, meh. Meh. Oh, you have a dude with efficiency. Don't that's bring kind of meh into this. Priced, but that's okay. All right. Those two are right, cool. I am on my way. So I can show you things. Oh, <gasps> hello, emeralds. Hello, emeralds, my old friends. <laughs> You're gonna get me efficiency.
No, I don't want to talk to you. You. You are beautiful. Okay. I am here. Let me show you. One moment, please. Ready. All right. So, this guy. Mm -hmm. This guy. Mm -hmm. And this guy mm -hmm. stays here. Okay. All right. From here on, mm -hmm. you can do it with whatever you want. And each one of these has a guy already behind them. And none of those are trained. Okay. So, like, if you look, that guy is untrained. Hello, person. Okay. Okay. So you can you can do it with, with it, however you want. The way I found the best way to to get these guys <laughs> going. Where okay, that go? works. Okay. If you open this up, why are their clothes ugly? <laughs> why why are their the clothes, clothes ugly? Yeah. So if you op if you open this up, let me mm -hmm. push this guy all the way up to the front. I'm gonna pop a block behind him. Okay. I'm I love yeah, how you I didn't even bother to try to explain that one and just kind of moved right if along. You, if you block them up like so, okay. right, and you stand in. Actually, it needs to go back to. Alright, so up to the ceiling, all the way around you. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I need a standy thing. Are you going to do a standy thing with this guy? <clears throat> I don't know what we need. You got the one that I wanted. All of the effort I was putting before was just to get an efficiency, dude. Well, just so you know, it took me all day yesterday and half the day today to get him. How high is this roof? It's only three. Hmm. Alright, so see, now you're locked in, so he can't see anybody else. Alright? Okay. So you bust that, and then you put down your your thingy. Okay. And then if it's not what you want, bust that up, and you just keep doing it until you find the one that you want. Okay. You just leave it sitting there. Now, when it comes time for us to move, guys. Okay. He's already in a mine cart, and there's a rail underneath him. So, at that point, let me show you. Oh, oh, there we go. If you look back here, there is spots behind all of them. Okay. That goes all the way down. We just. Plop the reels down. Matter of fact. Oh, and somebody went crazy on a pack of dogs. You see where I got the reels? Ah, okay. So you just put the reel down to, from the mm -hmm. guy that you want, that reel, and then we'll, I don't, we'll bust out the thing here and make it to where we can transport them out easily. But he just transports by rail to wherever you need to go. So they're already ready to go. That's cool. Can I put them in a bubble vader? That's a non-question, because I don't know how they survive on that. Uh, they who? Villagers? Villagers. Yeah. yeah. The dudes. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, you should be able to put them in a bubble vader, and they will be okay. To the best of my knowledge. Now, another thing, Grist. Mm -hmm. And I, this is a work in progress. Um, matter of fact, this whole thing is a work in progress. But okay. I designed something specifically for you. Okay. <laughs> See those lights? Mm hmm. They're tied to a daylight sensor. When it's night outside, they go out. This is going to be all blocked in with a nice door and everything eventually. Uh, okay. Door, so you're not even going to see the outside. He's sitting here all day long. 
But when you get tired and you're like, okay, I need to go out. All you gotta do is look up, and if the lights are off, don't go out. <laughs> okay. Okay. If I were Reyes, oh, I would put over the here. feathers. Oh, I got this. Boop. That's yours. But the iron's over here. Does that count uh, as out? The feathers have no. been put in a box. Okay. Out, out in is out this nine door. Box the end. Okay. Next to the... Alright, have fun. The other that stuff. is beautiful, thank you. Oh, uh, why are you throwing iron on the ground? ground? Uh, because I underestimated how much would come out of that stack. Okay. Like, woefully underestimated. I'm sorry, I gave I you were, to buy you were a affection. lot lower than everybody else. Sorry. The unassigned box is over by the front door. By the gate door. Just to the right of it. Oh, do we only have the one dude that trades for iron? No. That guy right there, too. Here's your we puzzle. only have the two dudes that trade for iron? Oh, yeah. you do too. Yay. Now, also, <laughs> keep well, this guy might also, but keep in mind that the more you trade with them, I found this out, the higher their prices go. What? Yeah. Supply and demand. Uh, you got to give them a little bit of time, and then their prices will come back down. Or, That's rubbish! Uh, what, or, <laughs> or you pull a Doc M maneuver and you work out mathematically just how much you can trade with before they'll get their prices up and then work a haul to to have enough to trade across that number of villagers and yeah now one other thing Grace, we have an unlimited supply of villagers right now so if you want to do the iron guys for all of them you can do that, and then we just replace them with new villagers later. Okay. So, just so you know, that option is Tradey, tradey, trade. Oh, you want to give me more things? Yes. Show me the levels. I want to get this efficiency on my uh, pickaxe there. And I am one mm -hmm. level short. What makes them a dude? Um, well, this is a family thing. <laughs> yeah, I was trying. No, I mean, like. <laughs> I was trying no, so like, hard to. <laughs> like, like a dude that'll trade iron. Oh, um, <laughs> the uh, grindstone. <laughs> okay. How do I make one of those? <clears throat> go to the uh, crafting table? Mm -hmm. Well, it depends. There's three guys that'll buy iron. Do you want an armorsmith, a weaponsmith, or a toolsmith? Or do you just not care so long yeah. as they trade iron? Honestly, I don't care. But okay. we've got a weaponsmith. We Oh, no, you're a farmer. You're also a weaponsmith? But mm -hmm. you look different. Why does he look different? I don't like their pink uniform. Savannah villagers versus the plain, Plains villagers. And our armorer does not trade for iron. No, he doesn't. Only the weapon and the tool guy. I gotta make a grinding stones. Mm-hmm. Uh, two sticks, two planks, and a stone slab. Not a smooth stone That's slab, long. not a cobblestone slab, but a smooth, or uh, but a stone slab, if I remember right. Slabby jabbies. <coughs> All right. You said something about sticks? Yep, two sticks, two planks, and a singular stone slab. Any plank? Any plank. Donate books to the cause. Medic, are there any trees around here that you're going to get offended if they get chopped down? <laughs> okay. Do 
do you want me to replant or do you want it barren? Uh, yes, replant. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going down because I need wood. It looks like the filters are fixed. Although, I'll probably need to do another long-term stress test to figure that one out. Uh, Sugarcane production is not quite there, but I've only got a fraction of the modules together. Like, this whole sheet I want to fill. I, I want to build as close to that middle trough as I can on this side, mirror it on the other side, and build up. And uh, it's the same basic design. Instead of having an individual observer and piston for each of these, I've got one piston, a row of sticky uh, of uh, slime blocks, and two observers, one watching each side. This one's watching this guy here. This one's watching this guy here. Whichever one triggers first will farm the whole row. I think I can move this gate, the, this uh, iron bar set up one block closer, which means I'll be able to fit more, more of these together in as tight a space. But the main idea is I want to make sure that when the slime blocks break the sugar cane, it doesn't push it off into the back of the next, the next deal. Although I guess... I guess I could use more leaves. and No, because then... We'll still have uh, we'll still have this spot here that they can get stuck on. So the idea is that they'll get pushed onto the iron bars and then drop down into the water collection without getting stuck on the module in front of them, and then stack it up as high as I can go, and probably end up with more sugarcane than we could ever hope to possibly need or store. But that's okay. I may also end up. Uh, expanding out the storage on this too because uh we're we're not that far into it and we've already got two mm. yeah so uh that's five ten Is that an actual measurement eleven twelve twelve double chests of gunpowder and we're working on number thirteen is what an actual measurement mm-hmm Hmm? Is what an actual measurement? But that. Uh, he said we've actually got... Mm. Mm -hmm. You've never measured in uns before? Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, wait. I just did. It was a double <laughs> measurement. Okay. I got the grindy thing. Alright. Badoop. Badoop. With the dirt. Unbadoop your front. Badoop. Oh, nope. I need one more badoop. Do I have to do the corners, or are they smart enough to know that they can't see around the corners? Uh, I would do the corners. Yeah. Okay. Oh! What was that noise? Uh, somebody made a wither. Why? Don't they mess our things up? Well, yes, but that's also how you get beacons. <clears throat> ah. All right, and then I give him a grindstone. I need to I need to install the thing that turns off the uh, server-wide notification of that. Hey, I give you a thing. Hey. I just hope Arcadius went somewhere else away from <laughs> where I'm working. I like someone did right there in that valley. Right He's there not talking in to his that station. valley. Well, yeah, it's only 6.30 in the morning. These guys keep banker's hours. <gasps> My dude! Uh, you're, you're right, RK, or, uh, you're right, and on. I need what? to go make that clock pretty quick. Yeah, I, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> My dude! It's not, it's 7 o'clock! Look, look, you, you know, you I'm know that... I'm stuck in the dirt tower with him. This is the difference. I'm not even on the outside pulling on the door. I'm stuck in the building. <laughs> <clears throat> you, you know that customer that, you know... Oh, 
Uh, well, I don't like that. How many withers did you summon? Or is there a delay in that? No, oh, no, I'm doing another one. <laughs> Home skillet? Yeah, so, somebody remind me at the next staff meeting to turn off the server-wide wither notification. What time is it now? Eight o'clock. We still got to remember how to, we we still got to remember to actually take a look at what's going on with your why you can't chat. Oh, I can chat now that we're on fabric. Never mind. Now I can't. I could yesterday. Or the day before yesterday. Hey, there's a thing in front of you. <laughs> it's time. Are, are you working on that clock there, Medic? Cause, uh... No, it's time. I hear all the other ones. They're going tink, tink, tink. <laughs> Medic, why won't he look at his station? <laughs> Make it work. You don't get a station then. Because you're a jerk. You don't get a station. <laughs> See, they all talk to their thing. <laughs> <coughs> is, is this going to be the new, uh, uh, Almost AI. Okay, medic. What time is it? Okay, medic. What's the weather? Okay, medic. Who won the Super Bowl? Who did win that? Uh, the team. Yay, team. Do we have any extra item frames, or do I need to go ahead and make one more? Make them. I mean, if you're in there, check the stick box, but you're probably going to need it. Why would item frames be in the stick box? Never mind. I, I, I don't know why I ask these questions anymore. What other box would they be? The leather box. <clears throat> yeah, but more sticks go into the production than leather does. Uh, it's not a volume thing, it's an importance thing. Either way, I need to get the furnace going so we can start smelting uh, zombie flesh into leather. <gasps> For serious! Is it because he's not blocked up behind anymore? Where are you at? Oh, you're in there. No. <laughs> can, can he not pathfind to it? He's in a minecart and it's in front of his face. Because uh, it, it is time. He should be trading. Uh, you may have... Uh, hang on. Let me block off pathing, break it, and then put it back down. Because he may have tried to... Or somebody else may have claimed it. It's because he had a side window open. An iron sword is not worth it, though. I thought you didn't care what he traded, just so long as he gave, as long as he bought iron. Yeah, he didn't buy iron. Uh, I don't think that's one of their first trades. <laughs> Oh, that's dumb. Uh, you, you got the armor? No, you got the weaponsmith. Yeah, iron's one of his second trades. Yeah, but I can see his first and second trade. No, 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 no. Uh, the second set of trades that gets unlocked when he becomes an apprentice. So he'll get two out of the three first trades possible when he starts off as a novice. When you upgrade him to an apprentice, he'll get the next two trades. And since there's only two, he'll get two of two. Okay.
He's a poop nugget. <laughs> really? Wow. All this vulgar name calling happening in here. <laughs> but I don't have to want to but I want to have to buy axes. Well. <clears throat> but we do. And then we smelt them down for iron nuggets that will turn into iron ingots that we will turn around and sell back to them. Mm -hmm. Can you smelt them? I believe so, yeah. Okay, that might be acceptable then. <laughs> yes, because the iron nuggets are, are so... Is so hard to at least something valuable. Oh, by the way, I figured out that south of us, mm -hmm. of the uh, castle, two rockets away is a gigantic mesa. I don't know if we already knew that or not. Um... That might have been the one that I found. I know... I know it wasn't that far away that I found the desert that I st started digging up uh, sand from. I, I saved a screenshot of the coordinate somewhere. You know, that, that somewhere that uh, makes it really easy to find what you're looking for. <laughs> as long as it's more than a rocket away, I guess. deface anything within flight distance. Yes, my little XP farm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, two of those, two of those, bunch of those. I can't remember how many of those. And okay, and figure out do I want to go ahead and move these back one more block does anyone else need any efficiency books uh don't we have an efficiency guy now an efficiency yeah. four guy yeah Then I I'm, I don't know the purpose of the question. Because I've been trading a lot, so my prices are better. Ah. Uh, yeah, I could use a couple of efficiency books. Because why pay full price for late pizza? Uh, f yeah, I could use four ish. Yeah, I'm not hungry, but I still like the sound of pizza. Who doesn't like hungry. the sound of pizza? I don't know that I eat today. <laughs> you told me you did yeah. earlier. So here's the question. Did you not? What? Well, there was an empty plate in front of me. I don't know. I want to move this one more block in because I'm worried that if I move the iron bars one more block in instead of falling down to the water like I want it to it might end up falling on the dirt block and getting stuck doesn't one of the dudes buy lapis 
Uh, yeah, the cleric sells lapis. Oh, okay. Ooh, and if I keep buying from him, eventually he'll sell me glass, right? Don't all of them do that? Um, the the guys that sell books do. If that's what you're. Yeah. Yeah. Why will no one talk to me now? Because it's only seven thirty in the morning. Humbug. Sleep the bath, humbug. Yes. <laughs> Move, son. Ooh, it's time. <laughs> I hung the clock in there. Nope, don't want to talk to you. Want to talk to you. Don't care about Actually, you. you know I'm not going to worry about this right now. It's uh, it's been enough. I got that mess sorted. I do, I do want to make sure that it actually. I'll need to stress test it because the last one worked right up until it didn't. <laughs> Where did I put my project boxes? It would be really awesome if one of them like. If you bought iron axes from one of them and the other one bought iron axe, like hmm? if you could like buy and sell it full circle. Um, if you get enough cartographers and um, oh shoot, cartographers clerics. and clerics, you can do that with glass. No, uh, you're thinking of or, yeah, cartographers and librarians. Librarians. Because the librarians will sell glass and the cartographers will buy glass panes. Yeah. But you gotta get the ratios right and you gotta you definitely gotta do the zombification thing. Cause they they will not that will not work out right without that discount. Yeah, as much as I really want to get that done. Uh, I ain't got the brain power for that right now. Best way to level. Well, that's, that's where that sits. Farm is working okay. We are at least... <laughs> Getting sugarcane, which helps. Now, now we can start using rockets without fear. Because for a while there, it was uh, it was, it was a little. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I definitely I need to get a tree farm of some sort set up, and I'm thinking, since we almost never use this backside of the mountain here. I might put a couple of industrial projects over here. Or I might just dig a room big enough underneath uh, underneath the mountain somewhere. Although I don't want to do it anywhere near the mountain because I don't want to hear any any like you know what happened when Arcadius used TNT too close to the base, right? You do know what happened. I mean, that was like, what, 10 years ago? No. <laughs> Not 10 years ago. Pretty close. <laughs> we were newly married 10 years ago. Yeah. Really? I, 
don't know why I still get excited at seeing iron and to dig up because, you know, iron farms. But it's still always fun. Okay, where to set this beacon? Uh, uh, somewhere by the castle, please. Yeah, I was gonna say go down, <laughs> go down to bedrock and find out where Rast is okay with the beam going. I need diggy diggy hold powers. Are you down there, medic? Yeah, I'm down here where we were mining for diamonds. Awesome. Can you give me a an X and Z that looks decently safe for a uh, BSD? <laughs> Not asking for much there, are you? Well, I'm going to take the risk, but I want a good landing spot for when I get down there. How come the two guys won't trade with me anymore? It's a new day. Yeah, are you, you you wanted a good landing spot? Uh, uh, X and Z for what now? <laughs> to dig straight down. Um, dude. There's... Well, uh, actually, you know what? If you want to dig straight down and still have room to use your wings before you die? <laughs> uh, no. No, no, no. That's not the point. The point is to get it straight down so the beacon has a beam. Oh, yeah. No, not not where I'm at. Um, I know that's way more torches than is strictly necessary for that job, but old habits die hard. I really need to go back through there and start lighting stuff up in that valley. Uh, man, that's... I, I love all the extra caves and valleys and, and tunnels and things, except when you need to light up stuff. Alright, you ready? One sec, I forgot one important thing. The beacon? No, gold ingot to power it. Oh. <laughs> Are you making the base out of iron, or... Uh... I could make it out of gold if I really wanted to. We have a ton of gold. Uh, <laughs> not until I get the trading farm going. We have a ton of gold over here. Let's yeah, but I have, I'm have i using a lot of it to make golden apples right now, too. And powered rails. <laughs> yeah, we haven't made any powered rails. Yeah, that might be a small problem. <laughs> oh, can oh, they sell netherite? No. No. <laughs> Why did you guys ruin all my hopes and dreams? <laughs> Oh man, could you imagine wow. if if there was a villager that sold netherite? I mean, someone needs to clip that. That was like, yeah, her soul died a little right there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway. Oh, we need a pew pew guy down here. Huh? The one that'll buy sticks. An arrow dude? A Fletcher? Yeah. Pew pew. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Please. Maybe he'll have a better arrow than slow. How do you make not a targety I'm, thing? He that. needs a targety thing, right? No, he needs a uh, fletching table. Yeah, it's uh, two wood Fletching and then two... table. Two. And flint? Ew. Where do I yep. get that? From gravel. We, we should have uh, enough flint in the gravel box for it. And that's over there. I'm over here. <laughs> I'll bring it to you. I'm Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I've been waiting on you. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting on you. No, well, still I, bring I, me I my flint. I told you I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Still bring oh, me my flint. My God. <laughs> Take her some flint. You better get something to write to write this down, because I'm not going to sit it here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me those coordinates. Negative you got eight. things to do. Negative Sorry, 878. What? Okay. By 709. 709. Roger that. 
negative 878 by 709. Roger that. Okay. That is great. What? <laughs> no, no, no. You better write this down. <laughs> Why do we have carrots in the box that the iron guys die in? Uh, byproduct of the farm. Yeah. How, how? How? Huh? I'll show you when I get there. The the. I want to know. Yeah, no. The 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 farmer. The farmer farms the carrots, and then he sees that the guys in the iron farm are hungry, so he tosses them carrots, but they can't carry them all. So some of them get dropped into uh, the collection where the other stuff gets collected. Which you make this why, sound like a narrative. Which is why I told you to leave the uh, farmer there because he buys carrots. Ah. Yep. Full circle. So the guy in the iron farm farms the carrots and the guy at the bottom of the iron farm will buy them. What if the iron and we, farm's And then we take our percentage. Please, please do not tell me you just burned through all of that iron already. Not yet. <laughs> that was three days worth of me over there. No, there's still plenty of uh, blocks at the bottom she hasn't gone through. <laughs> Says yeah, you. I, I did pull almost three stacks for the beacon, so it's not all her fault. Here's your tables. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna go die. Apparently. Only a little. I'm gonna put everything in a box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Bacon after I do the dig. What are good Fletcher traits? How do I know if he's done? You won't until you get all the way to the bottom. Uh, you want at least uh, one good trade off the top. One second, I'll pull open his uh, job. You book. can't see anyone else. Um, he's got three potential first trades: one for sticks, one where he'll sell arrows, and one where he'll for a fee he'll turn flint into gravel. Yeah, that's it's that last one that you don't want. And then everything else is, ah. and then everything else is more or less set right up until that last one. So I have to trade with them to figure that out. Yep. Yeah. All the way up oh. to the very last stage. That's annoying. And there's nothing I can do to tell at the beginning. Nope. No. Because it because it doesn't beginning? it doesn't determine what he will do until you level him. Like it's not okay, he's so he's not th this isn't a Calvinist game where he's predestined okay. to. Okay, hold on. So if he's paying me one emerald for 32 sticks, is that high or low? Or average? Uh, 32 is what he will do. There, there is oh, no that's just it. average. Okay. Yeah. Just what about it. his second one being an emerald and 10 gravel for flint? We don't really want that one. No. Okay. We'll take it if we have to, but we want the other two instead, which is... Nope, I haven't traded arrows. with them, so... Although, honestly, do we do we need to be able to buy arrows at this point? It's just easier to level them. If we can't find the sticks, we can just buy the arrows. Okay. Also, if you... Uh, one emerald for 16 sticks. arrows, and gravel for flint. No. No. We just don't want that gravel. Yeah. He, he's got... He, he will pick two out of three potential trades. The gravel oh, for Flint. There we go. 32 sticks for an emerald or an emerald for 16 arrows. There we go. There you go. Anyway, like I was saying, in case for some reason you forget to bring arrows with you when you go to get the special arrows from him, you can get the arrows from him and then turn around and have him enchant them. <laughs> That's another reason I like having the arrows on the Fletcher. But I agree with Reyes. It stinks that you have to level them all the way up just to find out what they have. Yeah. 
which is probably the reason I want to commit murder most of the time. <laughs> I mean, because you invest so much into them just to find out it's like I, I I get it in the the game story mode for for people who play the game one way. But on the other hand, I also get it would be really nice to know ahead of time if he's even going to be worth it if you're trying to build this kind of a trading hall. Which is a not insignificant portion of players in the game as well. So I I don't know, maybe... maybe I don't know what the compromise is, though. I mean, how, how do you compromise... How do you, how do you work out something that's acceptable to both play styles? You make it a setting. You make it a when setting. When you set up the world, how do you want to set it up? Uh, there's already a lot of settings. Uh, you just asked how you do it. Yeah. That's how you balance it. And lots of games well, have lots of settings. And the other thing that I thought of too would be: do you do you make a special tool like? Uh, with a glass pane, redstone, and some gold, you make a monocle that lets you look at them and see. Well, that might be an acceptable balance, to be honest. Because then it's not something you got to worry about the admin setting up. It's not some obscure thing that if you didn't know, you would never find out. Because the recipes are all in the recipe book, so... The monocle of all seeing? Yeah. The monocle of divine, divining. Actually, I would. All right, I he just... sells twenty-six flint for an emerald and two emeralds for a bow. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, that's pretty much all he can do as an apprentice. I can't remember if the numbers are randomly generated or, or if they're fixed. No, they're fixed now. They changed that. No. Oh. Eighteen, I think. All villagers' prices are fixed and, and just modifiable by standard modifying stuff. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, and then the next one will be string and a crossbow, where he'll buy string and sell a crossbow. The one after that is going to be the interesting one where he'll buy feathers and he'll sell some sort of enchanted bow. What kind of enchantment is what's up for grabs? Okay. The next one after that's the crossbow, I think. Then, yeah, the next one after that, it'll be two of three possible trades and... <laughs> And that's where you're going to find out if you want to, you know, introduce him to the uh, medic chasm effect. Or uh, <laughs> You said you wanted four efficiency books, right? Yes, please. Okay. Does anyone else want efficiency? Well, he has low, low prices for me. Not this time. Medic? Nope, I've already bought all mine. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's right. There's no XP for fortuning iron. Here I am, like, might as well heal my other pickaxe. No, that, that's when I get the coal and the redstone. <laughs> nope. I did something similar to that towards the beginning of the stream. <laughs> I landed on top of a mountain, and I started picking a ton of coal. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, man, nothing is healing. What is going on right now? And I realized I had my silk pick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, while I was clearing out some stuff, all I had was my silk touch pickaxe. So I silk touched a bunch of a bunch of ores. Oh, man, 
I never like this was the first time I carried a silk touch pickaxe around. I don't remember why I pulled it out because I basically carried a fortune pick the entire season so far. Yeah. Right <laughs> I mean, I I get it, but I if I fortune something that I meant to silk touch, there's no undoing that. If I silk touch something that I meant to fortune, you can always go back and do something about that. Yep, that's very true. So, so I tend to leave silk silk touch stuff on the hot bar by default until I find out that I really meant fortune, and then I can go, you know, reverse that. Who's sleeping? Uh. I probably should be. Because it's already 8.30. I accomplished my main goal, which was fixing that sorting. And... I don't know how big I want to make this room. Because I'm not entirely sure what's going in it. I think I'm going to put a mini personal smelter. I'm going to get the lava, the lava thing going. Now that we got iron, I'll probably do more than just the three cauldrons of uh, lava. Uh, oh, we iron. Well, I know Reyes started trading with it, so although I just, <laughs> I just fortuned a bunch of iron, so I'll I'll be okay. Um, I mean, you're benefiting from it too, so yeah. Oh, that was painful. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> How bad did that go? Eh, two and a half hearts. <laughs> uh, the, the last step was a doozy, that's all. Because I got the yeah, central... I, I, I that one out for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Turn about and fair play, all that? Okay. I got you. Cause I, I just wanted to make sure you landed correctly. Mm. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh... I still got to figure out my roof. Uh, I've got my central hall mostly done. I'm going to need to do some decorations, but not until I can move that hot mess of boxes out of there. Uh, I know I want to do something grand and big in this spot over here, but I don't know what. And I'll probably think about that as I, uh, as I hollow that out. I want to make a small workroom over here and get like a small furnace array for small batch jobs, that kind of thing. Um, the the lava the lava farm and maybe some other that kind of stuff. Maybe that is big enough. Nah. I need to figure out where I'm gonna get these guys working on the sweetberry farm. Uh, I might. I might set up a... I think... Ooh, I might do that in the basement. And I got two beehives that I can set up for a couple of... Some small-scale honey block and uh, honeycomb production. At least until we get a, uh, a large-scale farm going on the server. I think I found the TNT destroyer thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I meant to ask Rast, is that working? What? Your your TNT tunnel mm. bore? Sort of. Sort of? It worked and then it didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I am very familiar with that, that concept. <laughs> uh, what didn't work about it the next time? Uh, it got all scrunchied together. <laughs> it got all scrunchied together. Yeah. How you do? How you do? You sound like you're waiting for more explanation. There isn't. Oh, no, no. I, I'm running <laughs> down to see if I can figure it out now that I know. I, 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 w I, was, I was not going to touch it. <laughs> uh, wrong turn.
Okay, something is trying to move too many blocks. And it was even more scrunchy than that. I started fixing the front and then I went, meh. I didn't think you could piston the netherite or ancient debris, I mean. Yes, that, that's you one know, of the things that makes ancient just, debris unique is it is one of those blocks that will not blow up and you can move it with a piston. So obsidian you can't move, but it also won't blow up. Netherite you can't blow up, or ancient debris you can't blow up and it will move with a piston. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to go look over the tutorial because I'm not 100% sure how that's supposed to look as it is. There are books in your box. Thank you. You're welcome. No idea how many times I want to try rocketing up the uh, stairwell. I would not advise that. Alright, I've been using entirely too many rockets. <laughs> you said we had unlimited rockets. Yeah, but not not based on what I what I have on me. Also about to get a bunch of name tags so I can silence every one of those puppies. Why? They're cute. They are cute. They're even cuter when they're like Jubba and they only bark at the UPS guy. Oh, maybe that's what I should do for my next sound pack. Uh, I'll, I'll just record Jubba snoring and, uh, <laughs> and set that as the dog sounds. <laughs> he doesn't snore. <laughs> I thought he was behind me and he was behind Arcadius on the other side of the living room. <laughs> Medic, have you ever heard Jubba snore? Nope. <laughs> See? Oh, uh -huh. Our puppy doesn't need a CPAP. <laughs> yeah. All right. That needs efficiency. That needs efficiency. That needs efficiency. That needs efficiency. And the rest will be okay for now. And the fire protection can hang out there for now. That was a hint. What? Haven't you died by fire a couple of times by angering people in the place? Fire protection. Do I need to give that to Arcadius? Uh, I think we need to give that to Arcadius. Oh. Well, Arcadius, there's a fire protection dude. You should go talk to him. <laughs> okay. Because you have problems. Well. The other, oh, um, Waddles did a video recently uh, on talking about different storage options. Like, his plea was, please, Moyang, give us more ways to store stuff. The mod pack he showed off is interesting in the sense that it's great for decoration. And I don't think it proved the point that he was trying to prove. But the root question is a good one. Um, because because a lot of the a lot of the storage options that he showed off in the video from the mod pack have less storage space than a shulker box or a barrel. 
for the for taking up the same amount of space. And while I was watching it, pro the one thing that really kind of made me think is I would love a functional bookshelf because these guys take up so much space since they're not stackable. Having some way to store enchanted books would be phenomenal. Or am I wrong for that? No, that's fair. Especially since they're not stackable. Yeah. And that and that being the root of the root of the whole issue is that because they're not stackable, they are an absolute pain to store. And in that same token, uh, some some way to more efficiently store potions. Uh, you know, uh, I I don't know. I don't. Hmm? Are you asleep? I'm not near a bed. Sleeping. Where are you at? In the library. Yelling at people about their stations? No, I'm in the library now. Uh, no, that's the silver. Trying to decide what I want to do for my walls. I know what I'm inclined to do, <laughs> but I think someone might have a minor cow about it. Who and what? It's your library. Uh, because I don't want to hear them complain because precious resources, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's your library. Find it how you want. Okay. Trust me, if anybody's going to get yelled at, it's going to be me. <laughs> no, we'll see totally about that. Want. I'll start diamond mining. <laughs> no, actually, what was it? Uh, ne the uh, was we have a beacon range down here. Yeah, I know. There's a there's another slime chunk. Look, that I, some I some people will yet. pay extra for grass fed free range slime. Not not that pink stuff that you get uh with you know the the never mind. You joke, but there is very big quality difference between, like, store-bought slime and, like, getting somebody to actually make it. <laughs> but it, it's got to be a proper artisan. Again, you joke, <laughs> but would you rather have a first act guitar? Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> A nerve. Uh, yeah, especially as the person who writes that dead ticket. Phil Knight was talking about that, where you know he's talking about writing up tickets that you know they're not going to do because they bought this twenty-five dollar guitar and it needs about seventy dollars worth of work just to get it kind of sort of close to playable, at least as close as you can get it. And you know that because it's a $25 guitar, they're not going to spend the $70 to get it to play. And they shouldn't. And they shouldn't. Uh, but that part is neither here nor there. It, it's, you know, I, I bought a $25 guitar and it doesn't play right. And why doesn't it play right? And, well, I mean, it's a $25 guitar. Okay, I'm gonna go into the mines forever now. <laughs> into the mines forever. Does Moria yeah, call you? Yeah, because I want to. Well, I I want to decorate in deep slate lapis and deep slate redstone and deep slate emerald. The ores or the ores when they're like interwoven in the deep slate. Okay. Like as you find them naturally in deep slate. Can you imagine a wall with that? 
and then like some of it being like the actual like solid like redstone block and solid like lapis block and solid emerald block. I didn't know that you could find the iron ore blocks spawning naturally. Uh, not the iron ore, the uh, iron, uh, the raw iron blocks. I didn't either. Yeah, I, I saw that on a video recently and I was kind of like, wait, that's a Did thing? Did spawn that in? Yeah, it, no, it's one of the, it naturally occurs in caves below a certain level. All right. Efficiency to all the things. Thank you. That's not where that goes. All right. Well, I mean, since you guys are here. Oh, do you want that fire protection book? No, no, I was coming to get some. Are you sure you don't want that fire protection book? You should have the fire protection <laughs> book. Someone should have the fire protection book. Oh no, I'm probably going to put it on on uh, the on some of the nether stuff. I, I uh, usually I usually keep an actual set of nether gear that's all all the fire protection and projectile protection. Yeah, I've got uh, a full set of uh, uh, chainmail that's got unbreaking three, mending, I just got protection four on everything. Block of can't. raw iron is what it is. So when you take the raw iron and make it into a block, uh, caves below a certain level will randomly spawn blocks of raw iron. Um, did anyone see any shulker boxes that were down here by my machine? Yeah. Uh, yep. Where'd they go? I left them there. They are they are in your deep slate box full of deep slate. Oh, yay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. We just kept running around those boxes going, this is not how I left them. <laughs> yeah, I ran out of my own shulkers with Deep Slate, so I grabbed yours. That's fair. Oop, that was almost bad. Alright, so between now and the next time, I'm going to work on expanding out the sugarcane farm. I'm going to see how many rows I can fit across and then start building it up. In the meantime, we are at least getting some sugarcane. We're getting tons of gunpowder. I, I have a funny feeling that all, five, ten, all 20, 20 double chests of gunpowder are going to be filled before that really starts kicking in to catch up. But that's going to be so weird to have this filled up more... Uh, more than we could ever possibly need or want. What server are we on? Hmm? What server are we on? Yeah, you're right. I'll probably just add another row of storage below this one. And uh, so instead of being five boxes high, it'll be six. Medic, do you need concrete powder for any of your decorating? Not for the... Um... Not, not for the, the cathedral, the, the thingy, no. Okay. I still wonder if there's a way to do this that's a little more compact and a little less, a little less of a hack. That just feels wrong. I'll have to think on that. Doop, doop, doop. 
kelp over here do we i had to go back to my my base so I? Uh, I thought i put some in the box with the other foliages yeah i thought there was some kelp down there because i put all the excess kelp from that i bone milled over here yeah it's in the, the miscellaneous uh ah 13 okay 13 i'm There's still missing a teal box where's my teal box uh, teal is one of the colors oh, that that one's on mm -hmm. me. I have it. Cause oh, I, okay. It's one of the, and it's like, let's say a quarter of the way full of... Nope, you're good. I just was thinking through my boxes and trying to remember where I placed them all. Have you ever lost oh. your boxing? How much more kelp do you need? Uh, it should, this should be enough. And to what purpose? Because you know you can bone meal it and it'll grow past the 25 top if you just keep bone mealing. I did not know that. And I just need it for a uh, bubble elevator. Uh, yeah. But it's not going to be very high, so that'd be yeah. fine. That's what I did with the bubble elevators. I just bone mealed it from the bottom instead of nearly drowning myself trying to plant, <laughs> plant it across the top. Because if you, as long as the water, it will it will grow up to the water source. It won't make a water source above it. So, drop the falling water at the top of wherever you want it, and then you can bone meal it up to that water source. And we we got plenty of bones for that. So. I need blocks that people aren't going to bust through. Snow blocks. No. <laughs> yeah, I still gotta go on my quest to get rid of the uh, powdered snow on our mountain. I'm still gonna figure out one. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put some micro farms down here in the basement. Nothing fancy. Nothing big. Nothing fancy. I think I can actually get a decent uh, small-scale glowberry farm, although I don't know to what purpose. Except I forgot that you can climb up and down glowberries like a like it's a ladder or a vine. That's cool. Yeah, I found that out by accident. <laughs> it's like I found that out the hard way. Yeah, I I was waiting for something or uh, waiting for something to finish cooking and I was jumping around the uh um Oh, I, it was after after we were talking about putting the the big furnace array down here. And I was over here and I found out, oh yeah, huh, you can climb up these guys. Which is kind of nice. I, I do like that there are more ways of moving yourself up and down. So, uh, is this where we were talking about putting the, the ginormous furnace array? And do we want it in this main room or off to one of the sides? Well, I think that main room would be just fine because, yeah, I think I think that'd be fine. Where is Arcadius? Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, that seems good. Okay. Ha. Then that'll be on the agenda, too. Tori is mine. Oh. But 
I'm gonna need more uh, I'm gonna need more slime blocks and I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some honey blocks okay so I'll get the, that I'll get that small scale farm going so I'll start getting some honey blocks for this because I won't need many I'm just gonna use diorite all of diorite ew yeah why would anyone nobody will bust through polished diorite uh, that's what I use in a lot of places, so that way you'd know that, that you know, something's here. Don't, don't dig further. <laughs> if you dig further, whatever happens next is on you. Because that, that, that polished diorite is what's lining the inside of the spider farm and parts of the skeleton farm. It, it is the clear sign of, look, don't break this, because whatever happens next... That that's on you. Yeah, I was getting ready to do it in tough because I've got tons of it. Then I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got all this stuff down there. Uh, no. Yeah. You know what the first thing I would do is? I go, ooh, is purple behind here? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's just a whole bunch of water that just spilled out. And then I'd go swimming in the water, going, is purple behind here? Nope. <laughs> You need to get like these like ton of uh, crystals. Like if I could remember Ooh. where I left all of the budding amethyst at, because it's right there near our dig site. Dude. Uh, yeah, there's some under the under the mountain on medic side. There's two of them in my in my little area down in my cave that I showed you. Yeah, no, I don't need the, like the crystal though. Because I have tons of that for the music boxes. I need like the tinted glass stuff. The little yeah. It's right there. Uh, I need mean, four buckets of lava. That's a project for another day. I need to finish making these questions for you. Buckets of lava. I need signs. Fancy eyes. <laughs> Sign, signs, everywhere signs. Do this, don't do that. Never mind. That should be enough signs. Alright, since I'm kind of running around with without anything uh, concrete to do. <laughs> no pun intended on that one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull it over to the credits. I'm going to box myself in so that way I can sit AFK and stress test the... Uh, <laughs> Stress test the the farm and make sure that the sorting is sorted. And uh, thank you for joining along every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Hang on. The rain noises in Minecraft are super loud. Let's, uh... Music and sounds. Let's drop that off real quick. All right. <laughs> Who thought I'd be complaining about the rain? Um, in Minecraft. All right, thank you for joining along. Tuesday is 6.30 p.m., well, 6.30 adjacent, U.S. Eastern. We play on the Minecraft server, on the CoffeeCraft server. Friday, 6.30 p.m. is kind of up in the air right now. At some point, we'll get back to Games Revisited, and, and other stuff is in the works. Uh, just some, I, I got other things that are kind of, making that a little bit hard to execute on at the moment, but we'll get there. And uh, if you if you follow on Twitch, you'll get notified when I go live, and then you'll know exactly what's going on and, and what's coming up next. Uh, so have fun, enjoy, and let's see who's available to raid. Mercadius, uh, why'd you put the beacon so far from the castle? I gotta remember to mute Discord when I do my outro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hit yep, the... You I'm should remember to do that. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, uh, stick around. I'm going to hit the title screen, and we're going to ro go raid Grimly. He's playing Lost Ark, 
and uh, we'll we'll see how that goes. All right, have fun.